Well, I've gotten up the first uh, big hill, and it is really pretty up here. But if I'm going to get to the location I have in mind, I have to keep climbing up. Okay, made it to the top of the hill. Now all I need to do is uh, find a place to hang my hammock before it gets any later. Once you get up here on top of the hill and the wind's blowing and your fingers start going numb, you realize just how cold it actually is up here. But not to worry. Brought plenty of warm clothing and a sleeping bag. So I'm going to be very comfortable tonight. morning. Ooh, it's cold out here. Now more than likely this little guy is still alive, um, it's just because the weather has become so cold, his reflexes have become extremely slow. As you're out hiking, it's always a good idea to collect tinder as you come across it, because you're not promised to have any where you set up camp.
Now I absolutely love peppermint tea with honey, um, but I never considered carrying it until um, I went to a bushcraft meetup and I saw one of the other fellows carrying tea in their packs. So I think this is definitely going to be a must in the future. Now, if I was going to be here for any length of time, I would actually uh, create a proper wooden peg for this. But since I'm only going to be here for three more nights, um, my rock should work out just fine. Well, now that the shelter is set up, I can actually have my meal, enjoy my tea, and read a good book without worrying about the rain coming. Wow. I've had this recipe many times. It's just brown rice, with carrots. This is my first time ever adding green beans. But the additional flavor is amazing. Definitely doing that in the future. third evening winding down I find it hard to believe I've actually been out here that long time goes by so quickly when you're out camping I believe today is going to be a very pretty day. So I have 
my rice, my red beans, and some peppers that were canned by a farmer in my church. They are absolutely amazing. interesting as I'm overlooking the mountain you can actually see the rain coming in so the visibility is just slowly slowly disappearing to the rain I decided to reconstruct the fireplace, but this time it's complete with a rock and mud stove. I used the mud from the creek and the rocks from the river, and since the, both the creek and river are so close to this camping location, I was able to co complete the project rather quickly. Now I don't have to worry about burning my hands and my fingers when I'm trying to take my food on and off the fire. When it's your last evening in the woods, you start to notice just how much you're really going to miss everything.
camp. Well, this has been Reggie with Reggie's Bushcraft. I appreciate you joining me for this camping trip. Uh, keep on bushcrafting, and perhaps we will meet on the trail sometime. Thanks for watching. Bye.